Today I will show you how to create this awesome slide on PowerPoint Pro. To create a great slide, first you need a very good visual element. To create that, first I will go to Insert, I will go to Shapes and pick this rectangle. And I will be making a camera icon over here. So there you go, a rectangle icon over here. Then you will have a yellow dot over here, just smooth it out a bit, like that. Then I will go to Insert again, go to Shapes again, and I will pick this trapezoid over here. And just drag it like that. Done. Then I will put it right in the middle, then squeeze it a bit. Done. Then I'll drag over all of these two. Then I'll go to Format, go to Merge Shapes and Union them together. Done. Now for the next part, I'll go to Shape Fill, make No Fill and go to Shape Outline and make it 25% lighter black color. Then I'll go to Shape Line again and go to Weight and make it 4.5 points. Then I'll zoom out. Done. So I have my camera icon pretty much ready like that. Then I'll put it right in the middle. For the next part, I'll create the lenses. To create that, I'll go to Insert, I'll go to Shapes, then I'll pick this oval shape over here and just drag it over here. I'll zoom in a bit so that you can see it more clearly. There you go. Then I'll go to Shape Fill and make it white. Then I'll click on this box, go to Home, click on Format Painter and paint the format on top of the oval. So I'll have something like this. Then what I will do is press Ctrl D to duplicate it and then go to Shape Fill and make it 25% lighter black and minimize it a bit, something like this. So I'll put it right in the middle. Done. And for the next part, I need to create some reflections. So the camera lens needs some reflection. So what I will do is press Ctrl D, duplicate it and I will have a box like this or not a box, a circle like this and I'll go to shift field and make it white. Then if I put it right on top of the lens, you will see something like this. Let me minimize a bit and put it right over here. And increase the size a bit more, like that. Press Ctrl D to duplicate it again, like this. And I'll minimize it and put it right over here. As you can see, this mimics a lens, so that it's reflecting. All right, so we have our camera ready. To add a bit of color, I'll go to Insert, go to Shapes, and pick this rectangle over here and just drag it over here just like this done then what I will do is click on this camera box then go to home go to format painter and paint the format on top of the box now for the next part I'll go to shape fill and pick a bright color so I'll go to more fill colors then I'll go to custom and I'll pick a paste color maybe a paste color would be nice like this then I'll press right click on the box, then send it to back and I'll have something like this. Now if you can see, here you have a part where you can see the line. So what I will do is hold it on control, I'll click on this and this and go to shape fill and make them white. Then I'll click on this, press right click and send them to back. So as you can see, now this white thing covers the greenish part on the back now we have our camera ready what I will do is just make it a bit perfect more like this then for the next part I'll click on this press ctrl D to duplicate it and I'll have something like this then I will go to format go to edit shape go to change shape and I'll pick this round same side corner rectangle if you don't have this edit shape in PowerPoint 2013, you can just make it again. So you don't need to make the shortcut if you don't have it. But this is the way more efficient one. So I'll put it right over here and squeeze it a bit like this. Then I'll press on this, holding down Control Shift. I'll just drag it over here. Then I'll go to rotate and flip it horizontal. So we have our camera ready and almost done. I'll drag over all of this. I'll right click and group them together just like that then what I will do is just zoom out a bit then I'll rotate to be something like this yep then I'll type something I'll go to insert then I'll go to word art then I'll pick this and I'll type something so what I will type is capture the moment so I've written my text 
which will carry the theme then I'll choose a font that will go with it so I'll go to home I'll go in this triangle then I'll pick a font I'm gonna pick water lily you can download it from the internet or you may choose any other font that you might like then I'll rotate it 15 degree then holding down control shift I'll just drag it over here then I'll just delete this part and I'll delete this part so I have the same sentence but with two different boxes so that I can edit them differently so I'll just increase the moment size like that and increase the capture size a bit just like that then I'll drag over this two and click on the S to get rid of the shadow then I'll put it right over here next part I'll go to insert I'll go to shapes and pick this rectangle over here and drag it like that then I'll rotate it holding on shift like this then I'll stretch it completely throughout the screen just like that then I'll press right click on the box and send it to back then I need the same format like this green thing on this box so what I will do is click on the camera then click on it again to select this box then I'll go to home go to format painter and paint the format on top of it done and I'll click on the box and go to shape outline and get rid of the outline so I'll click no offline then I'll click on this box drag over them and make them a bit 25% lighter black color just like that so capture the moment now we have our slide ready but this part and this part looks very vacant so we need to do something about it what I will do is click on the camera right click on it then send it to back and increase the size of it just like that and put it right over here then I'll press Ctrl D to duplicate it the same camera and minimize it and put it right where it belongs so we have two cameras now what we will do is something special I'll go to insert go to shapes and pick this rectangle over here and drag it all across the screen just like that then I'll go to shape outline and click on no outline and go to shape field and make it white you can see nothing then I'll click on this little spot over here form a shape and the window will pop up I'll increase the transparency a bit so that you can see what's behind it then I'll right click on it and then send this color to back then I click on this big camera and right click on it and send it to back so now as you can see that the camera behind is a bit faded away and it's filling this space and this space and it's just making the scene come to life so our slide is ready I'll just increase it a bit basically we're done with our slide and that's how you create an awesome visual element and make your slide super awesome so we're done with this tutorial thanks for watching the entire tutorial and if you have anything you want me to make just tap in the comment section so that i can make a tutorial out of it and don't forget to share it with your friends thanks for watching and have a great day